So if you have a Ford F-150 and you want to pull a travel trailer, you're going to need to know something. Bluetooth controller, brake controller. This is, <laughs> it's amazing because it hooks into an app on your phone and you can go into the app on the phone, you can adjust the brake sensitivity and it'll get you home. You know, you can use this for a while and until you get something like what I've chose to do is to go ahead and have the factory brake controller installed into my truck. And it's 200 and something dollars for the controller itself. Another 290 to have it installed. But I think in the long run, it's well worth going ahead and spending that money to get a good brake controller to control the brakes on the trailer from the truck. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on like that on fin gay song. I'm stunning, you love it. Come on, give me something. I know that you want it. Come on, give me something. The night is young and so are we. So maybe you should leave with me. The night is young and so are we. This is ingenious you know you put the app on your phone it's got a big orange button on there that and you set your phone on your dash so that if you need to stop that trailer or to control a sway you just reach up there and press that brake it engages it to what you've set it at so if you've got 50 percent brake set for the trailer that's what it's going to do and then you can let off and control that sway so that's just one of the things you've got to consider when you're buying an rv Make sure you've got the proper brake control on your vehicle that you're going to tow with. Because, you know, when you, you do like me, you're sitting at the dealer for a couple of hours. Because I was going to have them install a brake controller, but my truck being a newer Ford F-150, it's a 2021 model. There's certain things that Ford has done that kind of prevent you from using a non-OEM part. I wasn't willing to take the chance in a brand new pickup truck, you know. They do something to mess up the wiring or, heaven forbid, mess up my warranty on the 2021 F-150, then I'm really up a creek without a paddle. So I chose, like I said, I went ahead and used the Bluetooth to get the trailer home into my driveway, ordered the part that I need. Luckily, I had points on my Ford Rewards that it's going to pay for the part and all I have to do is pay the labor so that's just something you got to think about you got to get it home and without a brake controller they're not going to let you leave the lot so yeah this brake controller is made by Kurt and it's a Kurt Eco wireless brake controller and the way it works is you set it up on through your phone actually there's a little app that you would download at the App Store or Google Play, however you get your apps for your phone. And this thing will connect via Bluetooth to the app on your phone. Once you get the app and this paired, it, it is pretty neat. It's got a big red button that's on the, on the app. And if you press that red button, it engages the brakes on your trailer. It's got a brake sensitivity and how much brake you want to put on the rear. It comes factory set at like 50 so that when you hit the brake, it sends 50% brakes to that trailer. So it will slow your trailer down a little bit, but it's not 
you know, a hard brake. And that's adjustable. If you need more brake, you can add more brake to it. If you need less, you pull, you, you put less, you know, you hit the minus button below 50 or whatever you need it to be set at. So, you know, if you need to get the Kurt wireless brake controller, you won't go wrong. It'll work for you. Of course, it's not going to substitute having the original on your truck. So, and if you have a brake controller already on your truck and, and it's working fine, then <laughs> this is not for you. But if you don't have a brake controller on your truck, and I don't know about the Chevys and Dodges and all that, but I do know that my Ford and I've heard of other Ford owners that have had this issue, this will work perfect for you until you can get something better. Now, I don't know if you can get Ford to reprogram your computer to send that 12 volts back so that you can put a non-OEM, a non-Ford brake controller on the truck. Um, there's always the option of having the Ford system put in your truck, which is what I'm going to do with mine. Uh, it's going to cost you roughly about 200 bucks for the part and it's going to be about 300 bucks for the labor for them to install the part and to reprogram the computer. It is what it is. So anyway, brakes. I'm going to talk about pitching your awning. I'm not really sure what that is, but I'm going to find out and I'm going to tell you what I find. All right, I'll see you in the next one.